welcome back good morning so today i thought i would do a day in the life i have a lot going on today um, that i thought i would share in today's video and packing for vancouver i'll actually be there today as i get this up and going back to see friends and family that's where i'm from if you didn't know so it's only like an hour plane ride from calgary but i haven't been away from the girls for since we moved here like build it since we were building our home so it's been a while uh, but I'm really just excited to relax and have some self-care time so I thought I'd pack with you guys and then also I got my nails done which was really exciting and also yeah just kind of like I guess my routine in just a day in my life so that's what we're gonna do today and of course we're gonna start out with coffee And now I am getting pictures. So I usually like to do this in the morning too and then I can post early before I get tired throughout the day. That's like my new thing is just to post early on social media. Um, but this is also a part of the giveaway. So I'm gonna be announcing it, uh, the winner as well and it'll be in the description for you guys. So thank you to everyone that entered on my last video. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more. Uh, so yeah, it was the bundle, it was the makeup case uh, and I love the packaging the boxes can be used for decor I actually have a nail appointment because as you know I broke a nail and I might switch up the color I haven't decided yet but I am gonna be packing soon too I should get my luggage out I also got spoiled by glow recipe yesterday so they sent me four of their products we have the avocado recovery serum the guava vitamin C dark spot serum watermelon glow dew drops which I think I've tried these before I love like their watermelon or watermelon products they smell so good and then the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydration and Glow. I also am a huge fan of their packaging. And th these are pretty small, so I might bring one or two with me on my trip. I definitely need a serum and everything else I think I already have in like a smaller travel size. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try these. Wow, just wanted to quickly show you guys how cute their little bottles are. I can't, like look how cute these are. I really, really love their packaging and some of their products I've tried are really good. The Watermelon Glow, I think I've used the serum before and I remember they did launch like a few other products with that line. So those are the products I've used and tried. I have not tried any of these. So I'm really excited and I can't get over the cute little bottles. Let me know if you've tried anything and if you like some of their products. I'm really excited to try this. I might br bring these dew drops. It has like a shimmer to it. Really pretty. Okay, so I just brought out my luggage right there. You guys have seen it before. I've had the same one for like 
the last like six years. <laughs> I traveled with it when we first flew with me and Sofia to Vancouver. And it's just, I don't know, I love it. It's just so visible. It's easy to see at the airport and it fits everything. So I have all that. I have my backpack, which it took me a minute to decide on which bag I was gonna bring, but I feel like this just makes sense. It's a backpack, it's also fall, so it might be nice to carry around out there. And then, okay, this is like my favorite Ipsy bag right now. This is the one I got for fall. It's just such full vibes. I actually love this bag so much and I mean, I use it just to carry my lipstick and some of my smaller items that I put in my backpack because I don't like the inside getting dirty. But I have, if you guys would have seen it, the marble brush that was in the September bag with Ipsy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous brush, eye brush, so blender, blending brush. Um, and then I just have some other random stuff in there like my lipstick and I'll show you guys all that once I start doing my makeup. And then I'm also gonna bring my little, um, this is just like a little side bag from Chanel. It only fits my cards, but if I just wanna run out somewhere, grab something, like a bite to eat or something, I would just bring this, I wouldn't bring my backpack. So I'm gonna bring that. I also have lots of water happening right now. Gotta just stay hydrated, drink lots of water. And I think I'm gonna check in in just a minute because I fly out near noon tomorrow. Thought I would get ready with you guys first. I literally, <laughs> my friend just picked up some eye brushes that she was buying off me and I just feel so slack today, but I just honestly am kind of tired and I wanna save reserve energy for flying tomorrow because I just wanna make sure that I, you know, I'm utilizing my trip and making sure that I'm like seeing friends, family and everything like that. And I don't want to be over exhausted. Um, but I have my makeup right here. Uh, brushes I have not cleaned yet. I definitely have to do that tonight. And then I'm just going to quickly do my makeup actually with you guys and um, also pack fragrance. That's just one thing I always forget and something that I always need when I'm on my trip. So I'm going to pack like a little fragrance too after. So these three I'm definitely gonna bring with me. I actually picked these up at where I get like my facials done. Uh, so I have my serum, this is also a radiant serum, and then a moisturizer. And I just can't live without these products. I also have my eye serum that I'm gonna bring too. And then I think one of the Glow Recipe products I'll probably bring, if I were to show you, like honestly, my, <laughs> my skincare is just getting crazy. Like I need to organize this when I get back. I don't really have time today, um, but it's just an overload on skincare. See, oh yeah, I do have one of their products right here. Uh, but yeah, lots of stuff. This is actually a really nice exfoliator that I bought at where I get my facials done. Um, so it's like a medical line, but I really, Zo Skin Health, really love that line. And yeah, just a whole lot of skincare going on that needs to be organized once I get back. I am about to get ready. I, the girls are with Ryan right now at Costco. We had to do a Costco run. We just had our friends leave here. And uh, I always find whenever people visit us, we just like fall behind a little bit. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I'm on track and also that I'm not over exhausted for my trip because I leave in the morning. Uh, but I wanted to get ready right now. I'm just going in with my Gucci primer, which clearly I actually have been liking it. It's just the fragrance. It's very scented, but it's a nice primer. So, uh, gonna get ready. I have my nails that I have to get fixed today. Nails. I might change up the color. I don't know. I haven't decided. Ryan's at Costco with the girls. They're gonna get lots of groceries. Um, actually, I'm not gonna do full makeup today. I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit. Uh, oh, I definitely did something to my back last night, you guys. You know when you feel like you have just like such a sharp... Like I feel like I have a big knot in my back and I just slept so off. Oh, I'm like really wanting to get a massage now. But um, I just thought, yeah, I, I thought I'd film a pack with me because I love filming these, but also like a little day in my life with my coffee and my morning and I just got done a bunch of work that I wanted to get done. Oh, I have to check in actually. I think I can check in now. I'm gonna do that quickly. And I haven't flown, like I haven't flown since we moved here. So like right when COVID was happening. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I was just filling out the COVID questionnaire and I've actually pressed yes and it's like, please call us. I'm like, no, like I don't have time for this. But luckily I was able to go back into it and it's loading right now. Um, yeah, okay, so 11.30.
so I had very little time to get ready. I actually didn't. I ended up taking off a little bit of my makeup because I remembered I was getting a brow wax. So I got my eyebrows done, got my nails done that I quickly show you. So I went with a pink. I know, not very fall. I feel like it's more springy. There we go. My camera did not want to pick that up, but I just felt like something like I feel like it kind of goes with my water bottle. I don't know. I was feeling it doing something pink, so I did get pink. Uh, anyways, the other thing by three o'clock, I usually take one of these. They are be natural um, or beekeepers naturals. And I saw this on another YouTuber's page, Alex Garza, and she said it gave her a ton of energy. So I was like, I need some of that besides coffee. Uh, so these are the little brain fuels. So this is what they look like. You can either do a half or a full. I just do a full. Just wanted to quickly show you those. It also comes with throat spray. So like if you feel like you're getting sick. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been testing them out. I think I have, yeah, I've done three so far. Okay, I am sitting down. I've got my makeup. I just did my foundation. <laughs> it hasn't kicked in yet. I'm like so drained. Always at this time, you guys. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. And I'm like dead tired. Um, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to pack. I'm going in with this. So this is the Boing Concealer by Benefit. This is really nice, actually. I really like it. it covers everything. That needs to be covered, which are bags, because I did not sleep good last night. Um, but yeah, you guys, my goodness, I really need this trip. <laughs> and so, yeah, no, I basically, I'll tell you guys what's happening, but you can follow me along on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be doing videos and stuff this weekend, and I will be vlogging. I want to do like a get ready with me in the hotel, maybe do like a little hotel tour. I'm staying at the Shangri-La, which I've never stayed there before. It looks beautiful. Um, really, really excited though to just relax. And Friday, I'm meeting up with one of my friends, which is tomorrow, that I'll have this uploaded. Uh, we're going to go for dinner. We might see a movie. Uh, there's a movie I wanted to see actually. It was the, what is it called? <laughs> My brain. I can't think at this time, you guys. I apologize in advance. Let me know. Like, I feel like moms, a lot of my mom friends say this too, like three o'clock hits and it's like, you're dead tired and you need to have like a second coffee or something. Um, I don't want to have another coffee though. Cause then, yeah, I feel like that might be too much today. Uh, what is it? So after the after series, that's what I was thinking of. So the third one is out in theaters and I really wanted to see it. So I'll, I'm not sure if we're going to see it or not, but we are going to go for dinner. And then Saturday is kind of like um, a girlfriend's dinner that I have. But in the morning, I'm thinking about going to the spa. I would really like a massage. I swear I did something to my back last night. Like I can't even move it really like very well. It's very uncomfortable. So Maybe I'll see if I can go get a massage or just enjoy the spa, do a facial. I don't know. I'll see what I have time for. And other than that, I just want to walk around and not do much. Like I literally have no expectations for this trip. And Sunday actually is my mom's birthday. So we're going for birthday dinner with her, my brother, Jordan, and then my brother's wife, Brianna. So yeah, that's what I have planned. But yeah, on Saturday, I'm seeing Rhoda. You guys know Rhoda. And she still works with me. She's been assisting me for years now. I think we're going on like five years. Um, but yeah, she'll be there and then some other friends that I have. But I'll be on Instagram, I'm sure. And I kind of want to do a live. I was thinking about doing a live of just like the hotel and just getting ready and stuff. But I don't know. Let me know if you're into those things. Do you watch Instagram lives? Oh, and I'm going in right now with my bronzers. This is the Natasha Denona. I know it looks dark, but when it goes on, it's really pretty. Um, I also use it in my crease sometimes if I'm doing something really quick. I'm just going in with my bronzing brush, which I've used because I need to clean my brushes. Um, I usually do it before I travel, which, and then I have a load of eyeshadow brushes. So I'll bring some of my new ones, which I really love. I love the new, um, which I've been getting really good feedback from my bundle collection when I launched these like some of these blending brushes Oops are the best like this really thick and fluffy one. You have really precise ones. I love this for packing Why is my camera not focusing? There we go. Oh My gosh um, But let me know if you guys have traveled at all like post-covid or sorry not post-covid 
yeah, post-COVID or during COVID, I guess. I haven't traveled since it all started, so it's gonna be different, I'm sure. My friend was telling me the last time she traveled from Vancouver to come into Calgary, my friend Omo, there was like, she sent me a picture of people in like hazmat suits. So I know there's some people that like are really, 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 I guess, serious about it. I'll wear my face mask. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have traveled. I'm getting ready quickly. This isn't like a normal get ready with me. I'm just like, I just wanted to put on a little bit of makeup for this video and then just for not looking like, like I'm dead asleep and dead tired. I think I got like four hours of sleep last night. I was just, you know those nights when you toss and turn? I don't have insomnia or anything, but um, I just, last night was not feeling it. I don't know why. I think I was anxious. Like when I get anxious or like I know something's coming, like traveling, I sometimes, I don't know, I sometimes can't sleep. Um, I'm gonna go in. I love, okay, sorry, it's a bit dirty, but this color right here, this light gold is so pretty on the eyes. I love it so much. I go in with it all the time, like literally every day. It's just my go-to color. I might use one of my clean shadow brushes. There we go. But I definitely wanna do shopping. Let me, oh, are we dark? There we go. Let me know if you guys want me to film a shop with me or if you want me to do like an Insta video reel of shopping. I was thinking of doing that. I always get like, I don't know. I always choose between doing a reel or a YouTube video and I just wanna get back to doing, I think more frequent YouTube. So like, I guess getting to know what you guys are wanting to see more because it gets so busy, I'm not even joking. And I wish I could be, well, I am pretty honest about how exhausted I am, but I don't like to like say it every minute I'm on here or else I just seem like one of those people and I don't wanna seem like one of those people, but I'm truly so tired all the time, you guys. And I think this trip is just like, and Ryan knows, like I really need this. And he's lucky, I mean, he has his like, he loves going to his car trips. Every Friday night he goes out with guys to this car showing thing. They all meet up. And then he went all day, I think it was seven till like seven at night. Like he was gone all day. Or no, he left at 5.30 in the morning. I remember waking up really early um, when my friends were in town, but it was all day. And he likes, at least he has a hobby. I feel like I don't have a hobby and I feel like I need that. Like it used to be my handbags and like, just like things I enjoy, but now I feel like it's YouTube and Netflix. Like that's all I do in any of my like free time. But let me know if you guys have a hobby. I need to kind of get into something else. Even if it's like a, I don't know. I was thinking about like maybe joining the Y or something. Like my friends started going swimming there. I don't know, just something to get out of the house, I guess. I feel like you always need something for you because our lives 99% of the time are revolved around our kids, our family, being wives. And like, I forget self care so often. I, I totally, I'm, I have no guilt. Like, I'm like, I need to care about myself. It just needs to happen because all, every day of all day, like it's always, I think my family and the girls. So it's just important to do that. I'm going in with this blush duo right here. This is Jouer Cosmetics. Uh, the owner is really sweet, by the way, Christina. I did a call with her actually that Ipsy had me go into and she's so kind. I really love her and I love her products. So these are um, two different tone blushes but I actually like mixing them. I'm just using my blusher brush. And a lot of the makeup I'm wearing right now, I'm just gonna bring with me on my trip but I will pack it in a minute with you guys because I always like seeing that too. <sighs> and I looked up at the weather, looked up the weather. So if you know Vancouver, Vancouver is usually known for a lot of rain and it looks like it is going to rain a majority of the weekend. Just going in with my highlight now, Tom Ford. I'm really hoping it doesn't because that would really suck, but we'll see. There we go. Okay. Uh, and I am, ooh, lip liner. And then a little bit of mascara and I'm good to go. Oh, and eyebrows. Oops. 
and it's been pretty cool. I saw on Ipsy's Instagram today, they were posting the event in Houston. So that's very similar to what will be happening in Miami when I go in December, like what the booths will look like. I'll just show you guys quickly because I'm really excited. I have to actually get like the layout of the booth and everything figured out and sorted, but I just wanted to quickly show you. Um, let's see. So this is the event with all the products. I wonder if they'll show. So that's kind of what you can have like demos. I will be doing like eyeshadow makeovers and stuff like that. Wow, it's so fun. Look at that. They had one of like the booth that I wanted to show you. It's all pink, it's really pretty. Is it gonna... Yeah, so I guess you can kind of see, it's going back now. But um, I thought I saw one with the booth. Oh yeah, okay. There you go. That's kind of what it'll look like. Isn't that fun? So this is what I have going on in Miami in December, you guys. So I am doing a booth with Ipsy. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Let me know if you are in Miami or if you plan to go to their events like the Gen Generation Beauty. I think I have, or there's some other brands that I know of that I'll be next to, which is really neat. Some brands I really like, so it'll be fun. I'm really excited to just get out and like meet you guys and be out like doing events again. It's been so long. Okay, one of my favorite products of all time. If they have this and I stop at Nordstrom's, I'm buying another bottle. This is a holy grail and they never have it at the, Nord or at the Nordstrom counter when I go there, which is the Tom Ford Spray. Energizing mist, it's so nice, refreshing, and just like makes you look glowy and awesome. So I'm not gonna go all out with my brows right now. I think I'm just, cause I got them waxed, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the clear brow gel in here just to get my hairs up and in place and mascara I've been going in with this mascara actually so there's two I like they're real by benefit and then the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes they're both awesome I really like them I'm gonna go in with the benefit one though and I like the fact it's travel size I can just bring this with me um, but yeah, I do plan on filming when I'm there. I'm really excited, even though I plan on relaxing. I, when, I don't know why, whenever I travel, I love vlogging. Like I love, love, love travel vlogs. I used to do them all the time. As you guys remember, prior to, I think having, or being pregnant and obviously having the girls, I had a lot more time to do that before, but it just gets so busy. Like it's crazy because the days are long, but they go by really quickly, if that makes sense. Like it's, if I have something on my mind, like unless I write it down, it will never get done. Like there's so many distractions, I think, when you have kids, especially if you work from home. My friends that were here visiting, they were like, they were both asking me, they're like, how do you do this? Like, how do you work from home with them? Like, it's, they're like, I, I don't get how you do it. Because a lot, like, even though Ryan's here, majority of the time it takes both of us to do a lot of things. So to get them in and out of the car, like after he went grocery shopping, I help with that. I'll come down, take a break, make them lunch and things like that. So it's not, it's, I think really difficult to go back and forth, back and forth. Cause you have to go from like thinking of them to work life and then back to thinking of them. If that makes sense, I'm sure like, if you guys work from home and also have kids at home, like you know the challenge of it, it's really difficult. And like that's why now I'm like, okay, I need to prioritize YouTube and what I love to do and what I enjoy doing because this is where I am most passionate. Like just chatting with you guys and doing, like making, creating videos and content and um, products. So that's just something I enjoy that I don't want to stop doing. And I feel like sometimes it's really easy to stop doing that because life just gets crazy, as we all know. But I always promise myself I'm just gonna be honest and open whenever things get stressful or I'm exhausted or tired, like I don't need to lie about it and just be like, oh, like, you know, I just straight up say, like, if I need a break, I'm taking a break because I know how exhausting this industry can be and to be on all the time. So I think for me now, I like, I don't know, I'm really okay with it, like, whenever I need to take a break. And you guys are too. You guys are awesome about it whenever I need to. Um, 
But yeah, anyways, that's kind of what I just wanted to ramble about. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of gloss too. So Fenty Beauty. I really love her glosses. I got a teeth cleaning the other day with the family, um, or last week. And of course, I'm going to bring my wig with me. It's a little naughty. I've been wearing it a lot frequently, but... You guys, so easy. Like, it takes two seconds to style and put this on. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner and why I wore extensions for as long as I did and tape ins. It's just, like, this is this was made for, like, moms that don't have time, <laughs> which is all of us. Um, but, yeah, I really like this for um, fall. It's a really beautiful color. It's the one I wore to the girls' party as well. I wore it at, we went to this, like, entertainment park yesterday, so it was a bit windy. That's why it's a bit naughty, but literally, I'll just quickly show you. I don't actually wear, I used to wear like, um, what's it, one of those caps, but I don't wear one anymore. So I situate it like this. I put my pony, a lot of people ask me if I actually keep my elastic in. I do. It's just, I don't know, comfy. It keeps the hair up. So... And then this part here has two clips, so you can literally just like boom, boom, and they're in. And I am gonna bring, I have a spray, which I'll show you guys, but a spray that holds um, the front piece on really nicely, so it just makes the hairline look a lot better, I find. But literally, that was so quick and easy. Done, boom. That's why I love wigs. And I think I'm going to get another one from her, actually. This one is called Steph, and I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in, like, contacting her. She's just on Instagram and makes these wigs out of Calgary. So it's, I really love them. I think they're beautiful, and the quality is amazing. And they're so lightweight. I just have to mention that if you are looking for a wig. But yeah, this is the one I'm bringing with me to Vancouver. I'm going to pack my makeup, and we're going to pack the rest of my clothes and get this done. I just went and grabbed my winter, not winter, but fall coat. I also wear it in the winter. I used to in Vancouver, but um, I love this jacket. I got it in uh, Vancouver at Aritzia a few years ago, and it's just the perfect fall color. So I am going to bring this with me, and then I couldn't decide on shoes yet, so I'll come back to that. So for my makeup, I have my pink makeup case, this one right here. I have it in my shop. I'll link it down below. My favorite. It's the perfect travel case. You can see everything. So I'm going to pack this right now. And then also, I love this Laura Mercier one, this black one I got. I think I got it as like a gift with purchase. Don't mind the ice cream. <laughs> That's the girl's ice cream. Uh, toys everywhere. But I'm going to pack this right now. And I'm not going to bring a crazy amount of makeup, you guys, because I'm only there for the weekend. But... I do like having some variety, so I'm going to bring all my brushes. The ones that are in here are just fine. And then I also have my um, Natural Glam Palette, this one here. Wow, this is really hard to do with nails and one hand. So if you guys haven't seen it, perfect fall colors. So I'm going to bring that. And then I just have some single shades right here. I'll also bring, this is Takes Two, which is my favorite color ever. It's the perfect champagne color. Um, and then I'm just gonna organize, or yeah, this is basically all I'll need here. Powder, I don't need that one. Face, yep, yep, yeah, this is perfect. And then some eye brushes. So, big blender, small shader. So for blush, I'm going to bring just my um, Jouer Cosmetics blush. I'm going to put that in here. My Charlotte Tilbury powder. I actually should buy another one in Van because literally hitting pan. Uh, so that. And then I have... Do I want to bring... Yeah, I'm going to bring this contour. And then I do like this bronzer too. It's just... <coughs> oh no. Let's see if I broke it. Do you know how many times I've done that while filming? Oh, okay, didn't break. There's probably not enough in there to break. Um, done that so many times. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this, this bronzer, and what else? Or I have my highlighter in there. Um, bring the Fenty Beauty Bomb, because I really like that. My brow products, I think I have in here too. So I have my little Revlon here, and then my Anastasia. I think I have everything in here that I need. Not a crazy amount. 
Not as much as I used to pack. <laughs> so I'll just show you guys what that looks like. And I think I might bring a few of my pink mini brushes as well, which I have downstairs. Boom, everything. And then in here, I'm gonna pack some skincare as well. Uh, mascara, oh, I should bring that actually. Do, do, do. And this as well. And I sometimes bring tweezers because I'll probably bring a pair of lashes with me. Um, oh, these are fun. I do have these. Oops. Pink mink. Can't forget this. So I have my foundation, Pat McGrath, that I'm packing as well. And then I also have this lip, or not lip liner, sorry, eyeliner. Eyeliner that I'm bringing too. Um, I have my little fresh soy travel sized cleanser and then the other stuff I already showed you that I was bringing for skincare So I think that's it. That is my makeup And I'll just keep this sitting out right now because in the morning I'm gonna quickly do my makeup before the airport um, And then all this will be packed in my luggage So not a crazy amount like I said, but just definitely I like travel size anything uh, especially skincare because that can take up a whole lot of room and especially if I want to buy anything there then I need to have some room on the way back Okay, so quickly gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do here So this is gonna be my little makeup bag for the plane I've got like my lipstick a few brushes. I'll put a powder in here in the morning Just so um, if I have to touch up once I get off the plane, I'm bringing these gold earrings These are my favorite the LV hoops that I bought I think for my last birthday also the little Hermes bracelet that I have here from Nicole's shop uh, and then I'm bringing this and then I'm also bringing this so this will have like my face mask my passport my wallet in there uh, and other than that I basically just have my wig that I'm bringing and then uh, yeah like pajamas and stuff I'm bringing like two outfits because I plan to go shopping there so uh, not a crazy pack with me but Ooh, and then these are the shoes I wore for my last birthday out there. I kind of want to bring these. They're really, they look scary and intimidating. They're actually so comfortable. Or maybe it was these. You know what? I am going to bring these because these are really comfortable shoes. I'm going to put them on this side here. So yeah, really, really comfy shoes. These are Jeffrey Campbell. That is the thing though, there is a lot of walking out there. So for shoes, I think I'm gonna bring, I bought like these Timberland looking boots. So I think I'm gonna bring those and then also um, one pair of like high boots for my winter coat and when I, I'm doing walking outside like downtown. And then these will be for like girls night. And I think that's it. The other bracelet I was gonna bring, so this is my little like Scott box I got from Louis Vuitton. I love this bracelet. I think I might bring this with me too. It's a little Louis Vuitton bracelet. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put that in my bag too. This was the other bag I was gonna bring. It was between this. Actually, I kind of want to bring this. I'm thinking of bringing this and then also my backpack because I don't think I'm gonna want to wear my backpack the whole time when I'm there. I think I'll bring this too. I feel like this would be nice for like the girls night. So I'm gonna put that in there. Thing I wanted to bring was a little fragrance. So basil. Oh, I forgot I had this one. Basil and neroli. I love that one. Wood sage. Oh, okay. So English pear. That's my favorite. I'm gonna bring this one. What's this one? Peony and blush suede. I really like both of these. So boom, I'm good to go. I usually just bring the small ones too because they're just so petite and small. And just in case there's a spill, you know better to be safe than sorry and bring a huge massive perfume so I'm gonna bring the little baby ones you can get these too they always do like little uh, gift with purchases at Jo Malone usually if you get a full size you'll get one of these off their website so that is today's video day in the life and you guys chose this the next video I wanted to do besides my travel vlog will be it um, a nighttime routine I haven't done one for fall yet and I really love watching those if there's anything else you'd like to see let me know uh, also thank you to everyone that entered the giveaway I'll have the name of the winner down below I'll be doing another one in my next video since it was really successful and it looks like a lot of people entered um, but yeah I am off to Vancouver so if you're not following me on Instagram and also TikTok, make sure you do because I'll be on there I want to do a live actually this weekend I'm thinking on Saturday before my girls night out so if you want to follow me there check me out uh, other than that yeah I feel like today was just a really nice peaceful fall day and I love just doing little things like the coffee with you and packing and 
I don't know, like I like chill videos. I'm very chill now that I'm going into my 30s, um, but I feel like I've just toned it down the last year or so on my channel, which I really like. I like watching videos like this. Um, and yeah, it was just very relaxing. So glad I am done packing so I don't have to stress about that tonight. <laughs> but I'm hoping you guys loved today's video. Of course, if there's any recommendations for new videos, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next vlog.